Hi everyone and welcome back to Sapbo Reads Books. Who's Sapbo? That's me and I talk books. So um, today I just wanted to come back. Well, come back. I'm here, I'm here. Um, I'm just doing, today's video is just a quick book review on The Gilded Ones, which you guys saw in my reading vlog, which I uploaded last week. But before I get into the um, book review, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much. Somehow, somehow I've reached over a hundred subscribers and I just want to say thank you so much for taking your time out to just <laughs> watch my videos, I guess, and just spend time seeing what I get up to and what I'm reading. Um, thank you so much. And I hope to bring you some more content this video is late because I was really trying to like finish this book because I hate leaving a month with a book unfinished even though I've got one book that I technically haven't touched in like weeks but I'm not too bothered about this that one I wanted to finish this one before the end of the month so yeah again thank you so so much for subscribing and I just hope to continue to entertain you and please keep commenting on my videos I absolutely love it like I love reading through the comments and um, getting suggestions and ideas from you guys so thanks again I really appreciate it I never thought I would have reached a <laughs> hundred subscribers it's a bit weird it's like there's literally like more than a hundred people who's interested in what I've got to say so that's really cool I love it I love it um so yeah thank you but yeah let's get into it so um today's video book review on the gilded ones and i absolutely love this book i gave it a five out of five like five out of five it's brilliant 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 so the gilded ones is by namina fauna first of all let's start off with what the book's about so essentially it's set it's a fantasy book i think it's ya so it's set in there isn't a really a time frame or time reference but it's set in an alternative world and the land is called o Oterra. the thing is this is inspired by west african culture and religion so there's a lot of names in there which i probably am massacring I, I can't say properly which is annoying but there's some names in there that I do recognize because the author is from Sierra Leone so she was born in Sierra Leone but she grew up in the United States so one reason why I was so excited to read this book is because it's actually written by a Sierra Leonean and Sierra Leone is a very small country in West Africa there's about 8 million a population of 8 million people so for a Sierra Leone to come out and write a book that's been on the New York best times list hey I don't even know if it's the right NYT so New New York Times New York Times bestsellers list um, is absolutely incredible because you don't really get to see a lot of I haven't really seen any authors from Sierra Leone so that's why I'm just like obsessed with this book because I'm just like oh my gosh like goals like I would love to be able to write a book sometime um so reading a book from a Syrianian who absolutely smashed her debut book um it's just goals it's inspiring to me so yeah so um there's a lot of African inspired or African names in there so forgive me if there is a name from your country but I'm saying it proper wrong um <laughs> allow me allow me allow me so we have our main character Decker who is from the land of um Ottera but she lives in the town of Airfoot 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 so what happens when young women turn 16 they go through the ritual of purity so what happens is they slice them and to see check if, what color their blood is so if their blood doesn't run red they are impure so that means they are no longer allowed to live in that society no more they are discarded or kicked out i can't even think of the word right now but they're not allowed to live there anymore they can't live normal lives they can't just grow up to be women who get married and have children and stuff like that but the society that Decker is from is very very patriarchal 
um, women must be submissive they need to cover their faces whenever they're going out they need to have um, male um, oh, what's the word I'm just forgetting words today crazy but there are they need to have like male they need to have men accompanying them to go out Ugh, what is the word but anyway it probably will come to me later on. but yeah like this society does not favor women which is one of the major themes which i'll talk about later so deck is at the ritual and it turns out she's not pure so that causes a huge kerfuffle meanwhile whilst the pure um the ritual of purity is going on these creatures called the death shrieks attack earfoot so they are really tall they are big they have <laughs> feathers they have claws yeah i'm not doing a great like job of describing the, the creatures but they are terrifying yeah they are terrifying according to the way um namina describes them death shrieks attack the town and decker has an interesting response to the death shrieks which people find are weird so for context if you are found impure at the ritual you are seen as a demon so women who are impure are seen as demons like they're literally evil so now when Decker has this encounter with the death shrieks now they're like yo she's really a demon like we gotta get her out of here so some stuff occurs and we kind of see whether these women that they claim to be demons are they really demons after all what is what is going on here what are the death shrieks so yeah brilliant book this is a spoiler free review so i don't want to like go too much into it but yeah so we go on from there and see decker's journey one big theme that is in the book is I can't describe it in one word but it's a big okay so the book is a big reflection on um religious and part patriarchal societies Ottera is not perfect it's run by men women are seen as lower than they're not they don't have rights they can't do this they can't do that like simple things that sometimes we take for granted they the women there cannot do so it's like I absolutely love this book because it really makes us think about why are we as women seen in this way like why don't we have the free freedom of men when pretty much our only difference is is our genitalia do you know what i mean so it's like why aren't we allowed to do certain things because sometimes let's not lie we can do certain things better than men do you know what i mean like who run the world girls period like <laughs> i don't know why we're denying that but we are we are so important so we get to look at the role of women in society and we kind of see an uprising without trying to give too much away we see an uprising of women against this system so yeah there's a lot of strong themes that are related to womanhood like sisterhood which i, I, I absolutely love sisterhood is so important having those girlfriends that will support you um regardless we see Decker start to build friendships because at the beginning one of her closest friends for 16 years literally abandons her because she finds out that Decker is different like as women we need to have okay and men as well you need to have that someone or a group of people who will look at you and be like do you know what? I love you no matter what and we see that in um the gilded one so we have themes of friendship sisterhood do you know what i mean women empowerment like i really felt empowered by the character decker like she's strong resilient determined like she went through so much and um quick warning trigger warning this book is very very violent so if that stuff kind of makes you feel a bit sick or queasy i recommend you don't read it um it's very violent and there's like lots of description of violence so yeah that's something to be aware of but we see decker going through a lot of these violent 
um, scenes, but yet she still bounces back. And I absolutely love that because women have a strength that is kind of indescribable. Like we go through so much. Listen, if I just talk about a month, like girls, <laughs> when Aunt Flo comes and we're still um, expected to go about our daily lives like nothing is happening whilst we are literally, our insides are literally tearing themselves apart. It's a strength that we have that we know for a fact men can't go through. Um, like women, we are pummeled sometimes because of society, like we can't, there's certain things that we can't do that we would love to do, but because society sees us a certain way, we're not allowed to do that yeah Decca and the girls in the book they have a strength that i so respect and namina does a great job of like reflecting that so the gilded one does a really it does a fantastic job of reflecting reflecting on a society that is heavily patriarchal and it makes me think about my role as a woman that's pretty much it for me like i feel like i can't really find any flaws in the book like I was very, very pleased with the way that it ended, the way it started, like everything was wrapped up nicely. I don't really have any questions because all the questions were answered and it's so lovely when a book does that. <laughs> there are certain books where you read it and the end, you're just like, I don't, I'm left with more uh, questions than I even started with, like what the hell? But this book, it really wrapped up everything nicely. And there was a little romance as well. And <laughs> y'all know I love a romance, like I loved it. So it's sweet that Decca got to exp experience a bit of romance. So yeah, I absolutely loved the book. But that's it. It was a very short video, quick review on um, The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna. I definitely recommend you pick it up and if you do read it let me know what you think yeah i heavily heavily recommended by me um sapo reads books and i hope you guys have a lovely lovely week yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone